And then there was her. Stepped on, looked over, forgotten. She thought to herself, I offered my hand to the world, but it was met with a cold shoulder and a colder heart. Such promise, but a kingdom built of glass is nothing more than a fool's throne. And with that promise, I have seen far more that were hollow than I feel I can bear. So she stepped away from the world. Knees unlock, head lowered, eyes to the earth. This was her bow. She would leave the stage. And why shouldn't I? They'll continue without me. They'll continue even without themselves. And therein is the disgrace. What purpose does this life have if the journey isn't our own to take? Love into despair. Laughter into darkness life and a death and for what purpose if the answer is within my soul i have not found it i have seen man work himself to his core so that he can survive long enough to wake and work himself to the bone once more what kind of life is that if there is no passion for something in this world your existence will swiftly come and just as swiftly go and her questions mounted as they one by one sailed into the heavens. She knew not if they had a destination or if anyone would find care in them. Then came another, a stranger to her eyes. His face lacked features, but in his presence she recalled his memory. To her he said, Friend, why do you feel such sorrow? Have you lost all joy? She gathered her thoughts and replied, I struggle with this scene, and even more so my role within it. This path has wearied me since the day I first set out, and I have discovered that lessons tend to lose their weight when they come in droves. Therefore, I choose to leave. Not in my physical state, for I am bound here by the flesh, but in my mind and in my soul, I choose to no longer be a pawn in this game. For I too can eat and sleep until one day my time comes to an end. And then I'll be done. In the meantime, I will love no one. I will ask nothing of this world, for I will offer nothing in return, because it has failed to share its beauty with me. faceless man paused. Her sadness was felt and weighed. He lowered himself to one knee. Friend, I cannot give you the answers you seek, though I would like to. I have questions of my own. I can take you to the one you speak to, the artist of all that is. So she set out on what she thought to be her final journey. As went the faceless guide, so did she, through fields of stone and the land of giants. Having no home, instead, she dwelt in the decisions she had made. In their travels, the man with no mouth did not speak, so instead she questioned herself and whether or not her jump had been far too steep. But the losses she had endured trampled her doubt. As they drew nearer, her fear began to swell. The creatures she'd so recently abandoned withdrew from her as well. She thought of her past and the painful stories she'd lived. And in her rage, she found her confidence anchored. Would she be able to hold her head up high? As she demanded answers as to why people die and why do they suffer, and ache, and bleed, and why go hungry, 
or be abandoned in their time of need. The guide who cannot see stops. From this point forward, with you I cannot go. She asks his name, but he vanishes before she may know. Heart pounding. She reaches for her courage as she steps forward and demands that her questions be met. Why do some suffer while others do not? Why does it seem that you so often take? Why were we put here in this place? Tears run from her face as all things change. She thinks on her answers, which she has received. Yet there is one last quest before she will leave. For today, the anger in her heart has ceased. Because with her creator, she found some measure of peace. She sets back out to the world. Patience. Strength. Places she'd known were different, and yet the same. Her eyes grew fresh, and she thought of the time that she'd wasted. Her mind went to the artist's words, which only she could know. From time to time she thought of her friend with no face, and the journey they'd shared. She had not seen him again yet, but somehow she knew one day she would. Life, color, beauty. She rejoiced in her renewed life. It would not be perfect or simple or clear, but she would take hold of the time she had while she was here. If asked what secrets she was told on that day, she would smile and look you in the eyes and proclaim the best advice that I can give is to find the love in every moment that you live. <laughs>